Okay, welcome back uh, to my series of videos about the Apprentice S15E um, ready to fly airplane from E-Flight. And uh, in this video, we're going to talk about how to measure the CG or center of gravity of the aircraft and make sure it's right. Um, the center of gravity is off. Uh, to the nose, if it's nose heavy, it'll probably fly okay. If it's tail heavy, it's not going to fly very well at all. You're going to have trouble taking off, like both taking off and, well, it might take off quickly for you, but you're going to have trouble landing it. <clears throat> so you want to make sure the CG is right. So I've got the wing mounted. I've got the battery in. Let me show you the battery for a second. Okay. So I mounted the battery in the center. Okay. And to make sure it was centered, and wouldn't slide around because there's no Velcro on it. I put some little pieces of foam rubber on either side so that it's centered in the compartment. Okay. And uh, then I'll close the battery hatch. And that should be everything in the airplane. Uh, even if we add a one of the um, sensors, the the lipo checkers later, I'm not worried about that weight because it's going to be close to center of gravity anyways. The battery is near the center of gravity. The center of gravity is 79 millimeters, okay, from the leading edge of the wing. And you can see right here, I drew a black line right there and another black line right there, okay? So one way to measure the center of gravity is do it with your fingers. Now, your fingers aren't very accurate. Oh, also make sure you got the, the prop and everything, prop spinner and all that back on because the airplane has to be exactly as you're going to fly it. So. The prop's on. I'm going to put my fingers on those two lines and hold it up and see what happens. Okay. That's pretty good. It's fairly level. Okay. It's not going anywhere. Um, but how accurate are your fingers? Not very. So I'm going to use what's called a CG machine. This is from Great Plains. Uh, there's a close up picture of what the CG machine looks like. In that picture, it shows you. Uh, measuring it uh, up, airplane is upside down. In this picture, it's measuring it right side up. My preference is to measure it right side up, not upside down. Because <laughs> when you're upside down and it's tail heavy, does that mean it's tail heavy or nose heavy? I don't know. I just always measure them upside up, uh, right side up. And the nice thing is that this machine has an accurate ruler here, both in metric and in uh, inches. And so uh, I prefer to use these. I carry, I got two of them. I carry one to the field. And uh, so here it is. Okay, it's got the two little things on top. And you have to sort of set the um, um, two stands apart far enough so that the airplane will fit there. I think that will work, okay. And so we're gonna measure the CG with the CG machine. So I always carry this to the CG machine to the field and I have one in the shop because you never know when you have to uh, do something on an airplane, um, put a different battery in it for example and you want, might want to measure CG. A lot of times I have students that come out and have not measured the CG of a new airplane. Okay. So now we'll see that that is, so the Rulers at 79 millimeters on that side. Let me get this back where it's supposed to be. And that is 79 millimeters on that side. And that's uh, two nose heavy. I don't like it that nose heavy. So that's 79. And that's 79. And so it's two nose heavy. So I'm going to move the battery to the back toward the tail to give it some more weight in the tail. So that's two nose heavy. More than what I want. It would probably fly okay there, but it's not what I want. So I'm gonna set, turn this over. I'm gonna open up the battery hatch. I'm gonna take out the foam from the tail side, move the battery back. And then stick this foam in the front side okay. so that the battery stays all the way back to the tail. Okay. 
Now the battery's not plugged in, of course, because we don't need it. the airplane armed while we're doing this. So now that that's toward the tail a little more, we'll measure the CG again. <clears throat> I make sure that this post is here and I make sure the 79 is there and that post is there and now you can see it's just slightly nose heavy if I were to push this up just a little bit like that I consider that level and I can I measure the level if I want I've got a, a small um, bubble level if you want I don't usually use that now you got nothing flat here you nothing flat here but the way I measure level is the uh, horizontal stabilizer back there. So if I lift this up just that much, that horizontal stabilizer is level. Okay, and I consider the horizontal stabilizer the place to measure level. So that is just ever so slightly nose down. That's good. You want it slightly nose down. Okay. So that just means that the... Um, um, uh, battery should be all the way to the tail end of the battery compartment. And so what I'll do uh, after this video is over, I'll take some Velcro. I get this Velcro at, uh, at uh, Walmart. <clears throat> and it has both the fuzzy side and the hook side of the Velcro. You just cut off what you need and uh, stick it on. In this case, I'm going to use the hook side. Uh, on the battery because the fuzzy side is already on the bottom of the battery compartment. And um, so I think that's a pretty good center of gravity. Note how much it changed. If I had that battery far all the way forward, it would be a whole lot of nose heavy. Now with the battery all the way to the back, it looks just slightly nose heavy. And that's where you're going to have it. Now, if you're using two different sizes of batteries, which I might, um, this is the battery that came with it, the 20 amp battery. Uh, the 30 amp battery is a bit shorter and you might have to, if you're going to use a different battery like the 30 amp, uh, which is slightly shorter, you might want to measure the CG with that battery as well and find a compromise or have two marks for where to uh, put the battery. Generally, if the battery's in the center somewhere, I'll make a Sharpie mark inside the battery compartment for that battery. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave it there. Uh, we're nice and level. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.